In this show on Channel 7, Cheetah is caught on video. It's a reality TV show where people suspected of sneaking around behind their partners' backs are investigated by a detective agency. It is so tacky, it can be funny. Take a look. We're here tonight because the investigators do have some information. Are you ready to take a look at that? I, uh, I guess so. As the investigation starts, a vehicle pulls up and we observe your husband getting into the car and headed to a nearby club. And here, we've got a good shot of them sharing a drink. In one episode, the host got stabbed. Oh! By one of the cheaters. You shouldn't the host of the show. Yeah, you shouldn't laugh about it, but... It you is, shouldn't. It is so tacky. Tempe's a dangerous game. <laughs> it is awful. But is this really how these kind of cases end up? And do private investigators sit in cars for hours on end with long lenses drinking coffee from foam cups? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Warren Mallard's been a private investigator for the past 24 years. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mal. You can tell that coffee. we all think there's lots of cliches involved. So we're going to ask you, um, is it true? It, the little clip from Cheetahs, I mean, is that how it's done in real life? Well... Yes, in a way it is, but I mean, mostly the clients don't want to be there on the spot and become involved in, in um, discovering what their partner's been up to. I mean, that's not conducive to uh, things turning out happily. Um, people become involved in fights and brawls, people get injured, mm -hmm. so we would certainly not recommend that any of our clients uh, attended at the time when we may have caught their partner. So out. do you operate like in the movies where you have a cup of coffee and bring out the envelope with the... Eight by ten glossies. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Right, That's okay. after we have two shots of bourbon before breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really, a foam cup. It's really not yes. like that at all. It's a, it's a very sophisticated industry today. Technology yeah. has um, enabled us to move forward in lots of areas that the police now handle, for instance. Um, police are so stressed and stretched. Uh, with resources. They don't have time to handle most of the minor matters, minor Such crimes. As. So what are some of the areas that, that <coughs> private investigators are involved in? Uh, theft in the workplace is a very large area mm. that we become in, involved in. It's an area that, uh, you know, um, empowers us to even install hidden cameras in a workplace to catch people in the act of stealing. So we can approach a court now as an investigator and get a, an authority for a covert camera installation in a workplace. So there's a recognition now, uh, both in the judiciary and, and in government, that we are uh, people of uh, uh, high levels of competency. We need to be competency accredited before we can get a licence, for instance. Mm -hmm. right. So it's a very different um, field. Perception and reality are light years apart. Yeah, well, I was going to say, is it more like Magnum PI or more like Colombo? <coughs> It's, it's really, yeah, it's more like Columbo. It really is right, more like okay. Columbo. Yeah. We all watch way too much TV, yeah. don't we? We love it. <laughs> what are some of the gadgets that you use? Um, technology today. Look, I can remember uh, lugging around a really big old heavy typewriter, a manual typewriter when I first started interviewing people, uh, taking statements from them. Today you've got a wonderful device like this that has a video camera built into it. It takes four DVDs in the front here. The DVDs go down the side here. It's time date recognition protected. It's tamper proof. So that's you to set that up, you sit in front of it, you interview somebody. Mm. There can't be a, an allegation that they were coerced. Uh, right. that they were threatened. Um, there's no doubt about the question that was asked and the answer given. And you can, at the end of the interview, you can give the interviewee a DVD. Uh, you can keep one for the court, one for your client, one for yourself. Wow. Uh, what about tracking people? Do you have little Yeah, tracking devices today, this, this device here, um, this device here, the tracking device here, is um, a marvellous device because it logs straight into Google Earth. So Google Earth no. can... Yes, Google Earth can track this device all over the world, not just in Australia, everywhere on Earth. Wow. So, and uh, that's a magnetic uh, attachment there. So, so you put that in. under the bumper bar? It can go in onto something metallic or you can, you know, you can attach it in some other way. Naturally, you've got to do this lawfully. You can't just stick this on anyone's car. There needs to oh. be a lawful purpose and perhaps you need to have an authority from a court to do it. Okay. Oh, so yeah. you can't just go out and buy one and stick it on you can buy your them. kid's There's, card and it's know no where offense, they're going or It's something. no offence to buy one, but there are offences against different pieces of legislation, particularly in the workplace, uh, against using these. Uh, so you need to have an authority to use one of these on an employee, for instance. Okay. So if you're going to track an employee's car. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, that's fascinating. Hmm. Oh, thank you for that. Thanks, Warren, for coming uh, in. Yeah, Appreciate good it. Good to see you. There you go, that's what's like in real life. <laughs> Movies, damn it. Okay, next. <laughs>
Revenge is a living well, and one woman is determined to do that, posting a huge dossier on a website about her husband's public and alleged fling with Anna Nicole Smith. It's a new way for the sperm to get payback, but writing in haste could also land you in court. Letitia Gibson reports. He's a cheater and a liar. It was the ultimate revenge for the most public of betrayals. My friends tell me to move on. How on earth can I? Every time I turn on the TV, she's there. Over 125 vitriolic pages posted on the web, the ex-wife of high-flying advertising executive Cameron Hoy unleashed her fury a keystroke at a time. Then when I found out about Anna, I really got angry. The scorned lady in question, Vanessa Garnett, publishing details of his philandering playboy lifestyle and their sordid custody battle for the whole world to see. Hoy's public shaming came after gossip and salacious headlines revealed his tryst with the late celebrity pinup Anna Nicole Smith. Now his ex has struck back in the most public of ways. We don't hate men and it's not about it being an anti-men, men-hating website. It's just about um, making, making it known to other women and other people that these guys, you know, need to be taught a lesson. The scorned now have shaming websites like don'tdatehimgirl.com, allowing them to dob in love rats like this gallery of rogues. Now Australian women have their own warning site. Sophie Camilli is designing a website that will allow the Australian women some virtual comeuppance. It can be quite therapeutic for, for some women to, to talk about it and let other people know and maybe um, sort of express you know, their anger or their hurt or their pain in some way. So most of my clients do love their partner. There are some that are vengeful, some that really want that revenge and, and some of them get the revenge. Private investigator Warren Mallard has seen it all. Yeah, one of our clients came to us, a, a very attractive lady. Um, she thought her husband was having an affair. We gathered the evidence. The, the husband was having an affair with her sister and she in fact took that video and played it on Christmas Day at a family gathering. Uh, both sides of the family were there and apparently all hell broke loose. There was broken furniture, broken windows and lots of black eyes and bruises. Um, but she had her day. She, she had her revenge. I think the, the real risk with putting something online is, um, of course, that the person may work out that it's you that wrote it. And uh, I don't know, but you may have a defamation case on your hands. I'm really not a lawyer, but I'd watch that one. Radio doctor and relationship expert Sally Feelgood has been dealing with the topic of payback for years. Revenge is a waste of time. The best revenge is success. Imagine walking into that pub where you know your ex is going to be, looking fantastic with someone really gorgeous on your arm. That is great revenge. She is also worried that if you go out of your way to throw mud at your ex, then you could be the one who ends up wearing it. Um, I feel sorry for anyone who's being badmouthed. I don't think it's necessary and it only reflects badly on the person who's doing the badmouthing. Hoy has since rejected the site's claims, his lawyers successfully removing Garnett's site from the net while he seeks legal action. There is a million reasons not to trust a web blog because it's anonymous, you don't know who's doing it, you don't know why they're doing it and uh, frankly it's fun to read and have a laugh but it wouldn't be nice if it was about you.